It was a bright and sunny day. Mina woke up and looked out the window. Hmm, what a beautiful day, she said happily. While she was enjoying the sun, Mina heard some rustling from a tree in her backyard. <gasps> she gasped. That can't be. Is that a koala? She thought to herself. She walked closer and saw a little koala struggling to hold onto a branch. Mina went closer to the tree and reached out her arms to help the frightened koala. Suddenly she felt a soft, warm fluff around her head. The little koala had clung tightly to her head, his eyes wide with fear. Mina giggled. Hey there, little one, she whispered gently. It's okay, I've got you. She gave the koala a cuddle. The koala relaxed and felt comfortable in her arms. She called him Kua. Kua looked a bit sad. Mina thought maybe Kua missed his home. She decided to find Kua's home. She discovered that koalas come from Australia. Hmm, Australia, she thought. How do we get there? But there is nothing we cannot do. Right, Kua? She said to Kua and they got on their way. As Mina and Kua continued their journey, they soon came to a wide, sparkling river blocking their path. The water shimmered beautifully but looked a bit scary. Mina stood at the riverbank, determined to find a way across. This is just a little problem, Kua. It can't stop us, Mina said. She looked around and saw a big log nearby. An idea popped into her head. With Kua's help, she pushed the log into the river. They hopped on and Mina started paddling with a strong stick. She looked at Kua and smiled. See, that was easy. We just need to trust ourselves and not be scared. We can do anything we set our mind to. By the time Mina and Kua reached the other side of the river, it was night time. They walked into a dark, dense forest. The trees stood tall and close together. As they walked deeper into the forest, pairs of glowing eyes peeked out from the darkness, watching them silently. Mina held Kua's paw tightly, feeling a little scared but staying brave. The forest was mysterious and a little spooky. As they walked through the dark forest, a firefly suddenly appeared and lit up their path. Mina and Kua decided to follow the firefly to see where it would lead them. The further they followed, the brighter it became. And soon, the mysterious eyes in the forest disappeared. They came across an owl sitting on a low branch of a tree. The owl looked friendly. With fireflies glowing around him, making his face bright. Mina told the owl about their adventure. And the owl kindly showed them the right path. He even lent them some of his fireflies to light the way. After following the path for a while, a loud thunder suddenly roared scaring the fireflies away. Soon it started to pour down rain. Mina and Kua got soaking wet, but they didn't let it stop them. They kept going until they saw a cave. Inside, they saw a warm, bright light. They were a bit unsure, but with no other choice, they decided to go in. The cave was cozy and welcoming. A friendly wombat was sitting peacefully by a small fire. The wombat smiled and invited Mina and Kua to sit by the fire to warm up. She even gave them some warm tea. As they sat by the fire, Mina told the wombat their story and asked for help. The wombat said, there is a shortcut at the back of this cave, but it's very twisty and wet. Don't worry though, 
If you keep looking straight ahead and don't let fear get into your head, you can make it through. Just remember your goal and keep going. Mina and Kua entered the twisty, windy and wet pathway. Tree roots were tangled all around, covering the walls, ceiling and ground. It was damp and little rats scurried around. But Mina and Kua remembered what the wombat had said. They kept looking straight ahead, not letting fear into their minds. They walked through confidently, step by step. As they moved forward, a soft light began to shine. When they finally came out of the tunnel, they saw a big, beautiful, bushy, green forest. The sun was shining and birds and butterflies were flying all around. Mina lifted Kua and spun around, her heart full of joy. We did it. We found your home, Kua. Mina said excitedly. Mina and Kua held hands and walked through the forest searching for the tree where Kua used to live. They passed by many tall bushy trees. Suddenly out of the blue, Kua stopped and stared at a burnt tree. He was shocked, just staring at what was once his home. Mina walked closer and looked at the tree. Was this your home, Kua? She asked softly. Kua nodded sadly. Mina hugged him tightly to comfort him. I know it's hard, Kua. It's tough to see that what you loved is gone. But you have me. I'm your best friend. You can come back with me to my home. We can live together and be best friends. Mina's kind words comforted Kua. He looked up at her like she was his hero because she had helped him through all the hard times with her bravery and kindness. Together they left the forest and started the journey back home. This time they weren't scared at all because they knew the way. When they got home, every day they had lots of fun together. Kua decided not to think about what he had lost, but to enjoy his new life, his new opportunities, new home, and new best friend. Have you ever felt scared or nervous about something? What did you do to feel better? What do you think Mina and Kua did to stay brave when things got tough? Can you think of a time when you were brave like that? If something didn't go the way you wanted, like Kua's home being gone, what could you do to feel happy again? Who are the people in your life who help you when you're feeling sad or scared? How do they help you to feel better? Oh, by the way, don't forget to subscribe to Reading Gal.